Today we take on the last hard scenario in King Coaster's Royal Decree, King Coaster. Hello and welcome back. It is good to be back. I am so happy to be here. And I apologize for the lack of videos over the last week. Uh, unfortunately, uh, well not unfortunately, I took a vacation. Uh, but unfortunately at the end of that vacation... Uh, I did get very sick, so I wasn't able to put any videos together, uh, at least nothing that had any decent quality. I couldn't really sit at the game for a long period of time, and you can probably still hear it in my voice a little bit, but uh, we are back here. Uh, I was hoping that I'd be able to get the Hackberry Hills episode out, but I just couldn't sit quite long enough uh, at, the, at the computer to be able to do so. But... We will get this one out, so we do have a career mode. This is our last of the King Coaster's Royal Decree scenarios, uh, King Coaster. Uh, so that's pretty cool, and uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, it just coasters building increasingly difficult coasters to satisfy King Coaster. Uh, pretty standard stuff. If we look at our objectives... Uh, build two coasters with at least five excitement, a length of at least 1640 feet. That's pretty simple. Uh, medium build, at least build a coaster, one coaster, with at least six excitement, at least four fear, and a very long 2461 feet. Build a coaster that doesn't exceed 40 miles per hour, but has at least five seconds of airtime. That's pretty interesting. Uh, and then the hard objectives, we got build a coaster with at most six nausea, a length of 3,281 feet, an average speed of at least 30 miles per hour. And then we start going crazy. We got at least seven excitement, at most four nausea, and at least eight inversions. Uh, I think I did that in the Oak Island uh, scenario uh, a bit back, so if you want to check that out, make sure you do. I'll put a link uh, in the description for it. And build a coaster with at least 8 excitement, at most 5 fear, average speed of at least 35 miles per hour, and a biggest drop of 328 feet. Wow. All right. So this is going to be a, an interesting scenario. There's probably going to be quite a few uh, time lapses in this as we try and piece it all together. We do have it on pause. Uh, the last career mode that we did, uh, there was, for whatever reason, the game wanted to uh, hitch when I was recording. And I could not solve it, so I don't know if it's going to do it here. Uh, and if it does, I'm sorry. Uh, but hopefully it's not. I reset the computer, I reset a, f a couple settings, and, you yeah, know, we should be good. So let's go ahead. Uh, we already have one coaster in here. It is called the Coaster King. Uh, actually, pretty good prestige, too. Our lifetime profits, not a lot of money. Uh, probably need some more scenery, which could do. But what is going on here? Where is... Why is it not loading? Is it open? It is open. Uh, hello? Yes? Oh! Whoa, where'd they come from? I don't know what happened. Let's go ahead and get on it quick.
and perfectly back into the station. The speed control on that is amazing. Uh, that is the tongue for the King Coaster that we have. It's a Sprint 500. Uh, it's Excitement 560. Not terrible. So, that would be a little bit better if the exit was on the other side. But either way, this should be alright. Uh, and we'll double check. Our prestige is 864, so if you divide that by 35, that'll give us the amount that we can charge that people will still ride. And 2468, so we'll make this 2450 just to be safe. Uh, so that should make us a little bit more money by increasing that. Uh, we already have $8,000. Uh, I'm assuming money won't be much of an issue for this because we have to build so many roller coasters. People are already willing to ride stuff. Uh, we only have 215 people in. We do need to build a lot of coasters. Uh, but let's take a look. Uh, as we always do, we're going to stick with the in-game, the main game stuff. I don't. I think we're going to try and do this without building rides. So we'll see if that works. Our track rides, we don't have any. Which is fine. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, our coasters. Uh, we have Steel Vengeance, Copper Edge Track, and Launch 500, the Looping Arrow. So what we're going to need is to research. Uh, so let's go ahead and start that right away. Especially I'm normal, so that's loony turns. I can't do anything else, so we'll get first aid, because I feel like that'll be important. And we are going to get some scenery stuff, because I think that will help us with getting our prestige up for everything. Uh, as well as open up some extra blueprints that we can use. So we have this all set up. Uh, let's actually... Let's go straight into, no, oh, I do want the blueprints. Let's go main game and this building. No, what about this one? Oh, it's just a little bit too large. What about this one? Is this one good? No. No. Doesn't seem to be good. And it's just so, so close. What if I... Yeah, it's, that's not too bad. Uh, we can pretend that that's perfectly aligned in there. Uh, that should knock the prestige over this guy over here pretty quickly. 100%. So probably by the time that rolls around, we'll have some more. Uh, so let's take a look again. I know I'll... Our easy build two coasters with at least five excitement and at least a length of 1640. All right, so we're going to have to do this. We are not going to use the Steel Vengeance or the copy of Copperhead Strike. We are going to... We already have this, so we're not going to worry about that in the park. We will do the American Arrow. And let's see. Where do I want this to go. So we have this area that can kind of weave up here for a path. Uh, I don't want to go underground. I don't want to do too much of that. Uh, it's just all flat land, so it doesn't really matter where it goes. How far out does it go over here? Just up over this ridge? Okay. I think what we'll do is we'll put it over on this side. That way we kind of balance everything out. Do something. We won't do anything too crazy. It's probably not going to be the smoothest ride. 
Uh, but I am going to jump into a time lapse and I will see you on the other end. So you probably saw right there at the end, uh, we did complete our bronze objectives, uh, build two coasters with at least five excitement. Uh, I guess the pre-built one did count in this scenario for whatever reason. I don't know, but we're not going to argue with it. Uh, we also got a pretty nice uh, American Arrow coaster here. Uh, we are going to try and run three trains on it. We're going to see how that goes to start out here. We want full load. Uh, we're probably going to want this to be really short. Uh, and that is mainly to try and get people through as quickly as possible. So, once this train... Wow, they are just flooding to this thing. Uh, we didn't adjust our how much it costs, but it should be okay once this gets full. This train should get out of here pretty quickly, and this is already going to be full up here. This is going to get in. It's going to have to stop up there because this one's still on there because that one just took forever to get out. And let's see. There's no way. There's no way that this isn't going to be this thing here. Yeah, because this has this really slow part here. Gonna worry about it right now though. Three trains should be okay for now. Maybe what we'll do is we'll increase this to let's say 30 and 35. That may hold that up enough to give this chance to get by, and this just needs to get out of here. Probably needs to get over this hill before this gets to the top. But we'll see. Uh, we do need to throw in scenery, though. Uh, it's $9,000 for that. That's 3000 Be cool, though, if that could go through there. Which I don't think I, I don't think it's straight enough. But we're going to try. Yeah. 
Look at that. I'm pretty sure that's good. Let's see. 98% just with that. So that's awesome. Uh, let's get some trees in here. Let's get some blueprinted trees. Where are they? Uh, come on. Bushes. Sure. Sink you in a little bit. So those should be good. There should be some palm trees here yet. And these guys can go in here. And why not get these guys as well? What's uh, the best way to do this? There we go. Alright, so let's see. And this should now be 100%. That's perfect. Her prestige is at 810. And that means we're at $23 for this. So that will increase our profits tremendously. Uh, oh, we're getting closer with making that wait longer. It's still slow up here, though. So really, this needs to be through the corkscrew before this one gets off the left hill. Alright. So he's on the left. He just cleared. Yikes. Whatever. I think it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get a ride on this bad boy. Alright, so there we go. Uh, that's going to be hindered dramatically. Uh, I wonder if we're going to we're going to ruin everything here for a little bit. Uh, that's got a pitch to it, doesn't it? Hmm. I really... would love for this to go faster. I don't need it to be up that high anymore. The loop didn't work. I tried. Let's see if we can get this to be a little bit more enjoyable. The slow part, taking out the slow part of this will only help the rating. So I think I need to hit this one. Um, this is, like I said, not the smoothest ride you're ever going to see. But 
Uh, it certainly is doing the job for what we need it to do. It's going to make us some money. And, you know, I think what could also benefit is if we bring this down. Let's make this the normal 9 miles an hour that I do. Give it a little bit more time until it gets off the lift hill. So let's go ahead and fast forward this. I want this to go faster. While we're doing this, we'll do something I haven't done in a career mode in a long time. And we're going to make this a different color. We're going to go with nice blue. A light blue. We'll go with that dark blue again. And white, I think, seems pretty nice. Our car color, we're going to make white with our dark blue. We'll put our light blue, oh, this light blue, and then white's fine again. The operator color, why not? We'll change him too since he's here. So I think this is going a little bit better. The excitement rating is still taking a hit. And, man, I just wish there was a way to, you know what, let's just do two. Two trains it is. I tried. All right. Open it up. Oh, I can't. I have to wait for it to. Uh, actually, with two trains, I can definitely make this 13 miles an hour again. Alright, so 13 miles an hour, you're going to go up, fly over. You should be somewhere around this turn. Yep. Six thirty-three. There we go. Eight fifty-seven. We need to. I think we'll drop this to twenty-five, thirty, and twenty-five, and that should be. That should be good here. This ride's no longer new, so that means that's going to start dropping off, which is fine. It's established. Should start seeing people flow in for this thing, and that should make us a bunch of money. All right, so now we're looking a little bit better. Uh, we had one theft. Uh, I noticed in the middle of the time lapse that uh, we had three entertainers. We did not need three entertainers. I actually fired all of them. Uh, so we're going to get one of those back. We will get one janitor in here as well. And we will get a security officer as well. So this should start making us a ton of money. Uh, Oh, it just seems like it has the right speed as it comes into that. I really like that. Uh, it actually looks pretty nice. You know, just kind of the out and back layout. We've got a little twister section in here. We've got a nice helix in the back. Uh, the block break section out here seems to work. Slows it down. It's probably a little early. Would have been nice to have an inversion out here, but it wasn't tall enough to do that. So that's okay. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look. We need to build a coaster with at least six excitement. Oh, you know what I need to do? I had to stop. I had to stop this. Oh, that was not the right button. Nope, still not the right buttons. Uh, I had to stop it because we were losing money 
I wasn't going to be able to finish it. So, ooh, ATM, that's good. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we don't have any other roller coasters that are new, and we're not going to duplicate roller coasters because that's just silly. And I don't want to do Steel Vengeance or Copperhead Strike because they weren't with the original game. So let's go ahead. We'll fast forward. And uh, once we get a coaster that I... Th once we get Specially Abnormal ready, I will uh, jump back and go over with my plans on how I want to do this. So... I will see you in a bit. Alright, so we are back. We have gotten finished researching the Specially Abnormal, which is the Looney Turns. We have the ATM as well, and our sci-fi theme. Uh, so, before we get going on the next coaster, we'll get Good Family Fear, which is probably like the Wendigo or something. I don't think we need that. Let's get... Let's go ahead and get the Tiki Cheeky. And we'll go for Fairy Tale as well. So. We need to build one for the medium that doesn't exceed 40 miles an hour, but has at least 5 seconds of airtime, uh, And that has Looney Turns written all over it. So we will focus on that one. Uh, the length, uh, that actually could potentially be a good Wendigo one. Because we can just have it sprawl all around the park. So we will potentially take a look at that. But for the Looney Turns one, I think we're going to overlap. And we're just going to try and cram things in, even though we have so much space. Uh... For whatever reason, I want to make a little bit of a challenge for myself, and this building is kind of screaming at me that I need to use it. So, we are going to build a looting turns that is compact that just continuously spirals around this coaster, or this building. And it would be a terrible place to stay at, but I don't really care. So, let's go ahead and click on the right button the coaster button and the crazy one loony turns we will where can we put this we need the exit to be on that side that should be fine raise it up just a little bit so we will jump back into another time lapse and I'll see you in the other end
So I somehow completed both medium objectives with this coaster. What? And look at the stats in that thing. Um, it's got 8.1 seconds total duration. Let's let's uh, let's go back here and let's see what we actually did here. So at least four fear. I can't believe that I did that, and I just barely did unintentionally uh, and this is one crazy ass coaster I mean you look at it it just is a tank Ooh. <clears throat> that word my nose doesn't want me to say that word it is a tangled mess of stuff of just steel everywhere and then uh, the classic, uh, oh, I didn't complete what I needed to. Let's just go back and forth with a bunch of bunny hills and then loop it back into the station, add an extra lift hill, and all will be fine. Uh, this ride is just in incredible. Um, I have no idea how fat, how smooth it'll be. Uh, I doubt it'll be smooth at all because these are, these tend not to be that smooth. But there's some really cool elements in this thing. I mean, right off the first drop, we'll have to change it so you don't sit up here all the, for as long as you have. But you go down and you do this really hard bank turn that's not smooth, you can clearly see that, into a very small bunny hill, into a helix that goes into more bunny hill, and then you get this weird looking... Oh man, it's really really testing me to see if I can breathe while I'm talking. Uh, you got this outward bank turn that goes into this semi-steep drop at the end and then loops you back up into a brake run. And then you do this over 90 degree drop into an Immelman that loops you out at a super slow speed so you just kind of hang there. You go around, you weave through just because we need to get through some of the supporting structure to a small bunny hill it's probably not even a bunny hill because of how slow it's going. You loop around, take another big drop into our second in, our second inversion on this ride, uh, which is kind of like Mystery Mines at Dollywood, where you drop in, you twist over, and then you ha stall out right before you uh, swing back in. We got some brakes that keep it under 40 miles an hour for us. We absolutely needed those. Uh, otherwise, it was exactly at 40 miles an hour. Into some small bunny hills, and then into our second lift hill. And then right into, just back and forth, bunny hills into the station. So, this coaster, I actually really like this, the look of this coaster. Uh, we have to find a way to increase the... Uh, scenery around it. Oh, I know this is not... That's not a great one. Uh, why not throw a mutt in there? Uh, we have them... Come on. Rotate for me. There we go. Uh, we have this... The sci-fi stuff. So, we might as well use it. Let's get another mutt. Uh, he can just kind of... He fits ish right in there uh, oh he's just gonna be shooting lasers out right at the people as they stand in line uh, and we're at 100 percent CQ scenery so that's perfect let's go ahead and get this bad boy open our prestige 806 I think it's gonna go up a little bit uh, we need to make sure that we get everything up to what we need it to be. So let's say, let's say 20 seconds. 20 and 25. And we'll see if that works. Uh, we have four trains on it. We're going to have a lot of people coming in here. And let's fast forward a little bit so we can see how this is going to operate. So there that goes, looping around, there goes the second one, 
So let's uh, slow it down. So the one problem. All right. So that's just stopping there. So we need to make this a little bit more. Let's make it 23. We'll add three seconds to all of these. And that should free everything up. Now this guy is going to be a little more impacted because he had to, he stopped, so his he slowed down a lot there. Uh, but I think this should get better as we go on here. Because we'll catch up with uh, this guy as he comes through into the station. So he'll probably leave before he gets back. Which will create that distance that we need. And let's take and let's see. Let's, let's get the rest of the screen out of here. So yeah, so he's leaving. Actually right as he's coming in. So that's looking good. Uh, this guy is going. He's gonna. He's still stopped up there. See, for whatever reason, this is getting worse. And it's only because we can't get him fast enough. Uh, Alright, we'll hold you. We'll hold you for 28 seconds. We'll move everything back 5 seconds. Now that'll cause that'll cause some problems here, but I'd rather him wait here than up here. So overall, all right, that's looking pretty good. Uh, so now we need to do. We have three coasters left, which we need. Yeah, wait, the window goes not gonna help. Tiki cheeky, maybe. Although I don't know if I'm gonna put food in. I don't know if I need to. I'm at forty thousand uh, dollars. Free spinning. We don't want free spinning. We need a bigger coaster. What can we make that could be three hundred and twenty-eight feet? on a drop. I mean, we already have one of these. So, I don't I don't want to do another one of those. We already have one. Um, we, we're not going to do another American Arrow. We're not going to do a Wendigo, that's for sure. I don't even think that'll allow us to go up 320 feet. It means we'd have to dig into the ground, which we're not going to do that. So, hmm. Let's go ahead, we will fast forward uh, until I get a coaster that's going to make some sense, and we'll jump back when we actually have a plan on how we're going to complete this, because we might try and do one of these crazy things to complete all three of them at once, but maybe not. It might be a little too tough, So, uh, but we'll see once we get the next coaster and we got a plan, so I'll be back with you in a little bit. Alright, so, uh, you can see I made a few changes while we uh, sped things up. We added some shops and stalls. A lot of shops and stalls. We added a first aid. And we added a random bathroom down here in the middle. So one thing I forgot to do, we forgot to take a ride in the loony turn. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, not this one. This is at the end. Oh, here we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this, and then we'll get to the next coaster bit.
All right, holy janky piece of crap. There were some turns at the top here that were just super rough, but you know, it works. Uh, the hands in the face, eh, it's not worth riding again, I don't believe. I don't think it was too bad. Uh, but anyway, so we have three things we need to do. We need to build a coaster with at most six nausea, a length of 3,281, and an average speed of 30 miles an hour. So, so that one I think I'm going to do with the build a coaster with at least eight excitement, most five fear, uh, average speed of 35 miles per hour, and a biggest drop of 328. And that's mainly because I already have to have a high average speed. Um, so that's going to be a launch coaster to make it a little bit easier. Uh, because the height's going to be so tall, the length should already come with that to dissipate the speed. And the nausea at most six, uh, and the fear, those kind of will go hand in hand a little bit. So I think those two can be done together. This one in the middle, though, build a coaster with at least seven excitement, at most four nausea, and at least eight inversions. That's one that I'm, I think I might struggle with a little bit. And I don't really have a coaster that I would feel comfortable doing it with. That is not the right button. That also not the right button. But we did get the boa. And I think I'm going to give it a shot. And, you know, it may work. It may not work. Um, but either way, I'm going to show you and see if I can get it to, at, at at the very least, we'll come out with another coaster to make us more money, because apparently we're not making enough money at $77,000 right now uh, with three coasters in the park. But let's go ahead, and we'll jump to the next time lapse, and we'll see what happens. So I'll see you on the other end. So we are back here um, with our new coaster, uh, and let's double check, let's get our research, because uh, the equalizer, that actually, we, uh, nothing above, nothing below, there, oh, there's definitely some opportunity there to try and do the last one with the equalizer, so maybe we'll give it a go, but uh, our BOA, we have one here, uh, and as I do when I'm trying to complete objectives, I try and go pretty much straight in a line. Um, and then I did a triple corkscrew variation, which is pretty interesting and not in real life. Uh, but I had a little bit of problems with the end here because it got a little too fast and caused a little bit of uh, nausea, just enough to be annoying. Uh, so I had to do this helix in to get a little bit more excitement then at the end of uh, this little drop. 
And we got exactly 7.07 .07 excitement, 3.98 fear, and our nausea at 1.4. So, we have completed our uh, coaster build here, which is great because uh, that one I was worried about that one. And inversions tend to scare me for whatever reason. And this one turned out pretty, pretty decent. Uh, we got a weird little exit path that comes through and goes right through this pole. But you know, that, that would be something people would walk around, so I wasn't too concerned about it. Uh, we will take a quick spin on this. I don't think it's going to be the smoothest, but let's go ahead and get our uh, cycles down here. We're probably going to need to do 25 seconds here to give it a chance to cycle through. So let's go ahead, we'll get it open, and let's go ahead and take a ride in this sucker. There we have it. Another good roller coaster here. We don't have. We're not going to worry about scenery because I don't think it's going to matter anymore. We have a hundred thousand dollars. We only need to build, I think, one more coaster. Uh, I'm being annoyed by my little Chihuahua at the moment because she keeps jumping up on my lap. So let me put her down. So we are at eight twenty-four, and we divide that by thirty-five, and uh, twenty-three fifty is what not that much that oh my I oh I can't do anything correctly there we go 2350 uh, and we're gonna see this is probably gonna stop up here so we're gonna need to extend this out probably another 10 seconds which you know isn't that unheard of so there we go and yeah we're looking good looking good in the park so far uh we have two more objectives to build uh, so what we'll do is i guess we'll take a shot at the equalizer uh, since this one worked out so well maybe we can somehow manage to get the equalizer and i continuously click on the wrong button when i'm trying to go to the coasters um we definitely should be able to do this with the equalizer. Uh, the parts that concern me are the average speed. Uh, I don't think the fear is going to be that bad. Uh, excitement, I don't think will be that difficult because it's just going to be airtime hills. It's just going to be this crazy, th it's kind of going to be like this. And I feel like... Alright, there we go. Um, so, it's going to be a big version of this with a 328 foot drop. So, yeah, we'll we'll take a look at it and see what we can get. Might not be the most realistic looking coaster, but we'll see what we get. So, I'll see you when we're done. Oh, and there's my bird, of course, making an entrance. We already had the dog in. Might as well bring the bird in. So, that's my son, Conyer. He likes to make an appearance every so often, so I hope you enjoyed him. But let's jump to the time lapse. I'll see you in a bit.
So, uh, I made a mistake in the recording of that. Uh, right when I went to break off to start this time lapse, I uh, had to step away. So you missed the beginning portion. Uh, we built the station, the lift hill in the first trap. And boy, is this thing massive and oddly shaped. Uh, so, I think I have everything that I need. So, at most, six nausea. I don't know if that means throughout the entire track, like if at one point it hits more than that. I don't know. Uh, but, either way, uh, length, it's 8,000 feet, so that's a lot, of, a lot of length. We easily clear that one. Average speed, 41 miles an hour, so we clear the 30. We also clear the 35. Uh, fear, again, it's under 5, but I don't know if that means at any point in the track. Um, at least 8 excitement. So we got 807, and the biggest drop, uh, I actually didn't double check the biggest drop. Oh, Fruit Loops. Oh, uh, man. We're going to need to make an adjustment. How is that not... We're, we're missing it by 20 feet. Okay, we can do this. We'll do it live. Right here, right now, uh, we need, all right, we got some huge sections here. We, I don't think we need to worry about that. It is going to look a little odd. Um, so what we'll do, we will make this shorter. There it is. Pull down, pull down to the right. Okay, there we go. We'll add two sections in here. We'll make it super long. And then I think I did two for the first one. One for the bottom. Right along. That's good. You know what? Let's just go with that. Let's just go with that. And then what we'll do is we'll just take this. And we'll smooth the banking. That was not the right thing to do. We'll smooth all. And then if we fast forward. Okay. We, we need to let the train do its thing. Alright. So. There it goes on its incredible journey. Uh, around the outskirts of this park. Uh, it's built for three trains. So, I mean, it would make us money. Um, also, something while we're waiting for this. Uh, when I stepped away, I let it play. So, that's why we have $4,000 and we're in year 7. Uh, we had plenty of money to make this regardless. But, uh, biggest drop, 331 feet. Perfect. Uh, but, yeah, I might have screwed that up a little bit. I thought I hit pause. I did not. Oh, well. Alright, so... Now that this is done, all we need to do, if I'm correct, is place entrance A, place exit A, and oh, I probably have to connect this path, and come on, right, where can I go here? Uh, Let's make the length a little longer. I'll be devastated if this is, uh, if it's going to be picky on me. And, boom. We are done in the final hard scenario of King Coaster's Royal Decree King Coaster. The big man himself and this uh, this uh, scenario was a lot of fun. It's all about building coasters. There's not really much management. You do certainly have to do a little bit. You have to add in some shops and stalls and some... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, people. Staff. Staff people. We needed staff. 
Oh, boy. I struggled with that. But, uh, you know, the coasters, it, it's a great game. This was the last one of the uh, that came with the original game that we had to do. We still have a few more scenarios. We have the, the festival one, the festive one that we're going to hold off on. And then we have Missy Ellie's and then, of course, Ghostbusters. We are going to head into Miss Missy Ellie's or Miss Ellie's or whatever her name is. I don't even know. Let's... Oh, I have research available. Yeah, I wasn't going to finish up with that. Uh, what is her name? Miss Ellie. Uh, we'll get through the Miss Ellie scenarios next. Then we're probably going to jump to the Ghostbuster scenarios and finish up with the festive hoping that we are going to be closer to that time of season so um, I don't think we're going to be that close to it but we'll be closer so maybe it'll put us in the mood uh, let's go ahead and get a ride on this monster of a coaster and we're going to ride the back it seems like my computers being a little bit choppy so this may not be the best video but it will be a video uh, and boy we are getting way up here good view of uh, King Coaster can't see anything else because we're too tired oh and here we go So again, that does it for this scenario. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you see something I could have done better, make sure you leave it in the comment section. And if you want to find some more awesome Planet Coaster content, make sure to check out my channel, Mostly Average Matt. I got videos, hopefully from this point forward, assuming I don't get sick again, or go on vacation at some point. Uh, we'll have them every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.